Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie wizard of Oz himself, and I'm here to discuss my new video. You all know my top, top 10 best movies of the 2010s and the 2000s, but what about the ones from the 90s? Yes, I do absolutely love the 90s. In fact, I grew up in that area, 1992. And I always admire its great songs, like the Spice Girls, for example. Yeah, this was my jam back in the day. <laughs> I even do love the other techno songs like Be My Lover or What Is Love. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be discussing my top 10 movies that are the best of the best from the 90s. <sighs> For this list, I'll be discussing all the greatest hits they have, have in the 90s. So, if you all wanted to see my guilty pleasure ones from the 90s, I suggest you should look in my channel and find that one, okay? Okay, let's get started. Number 10, which is one of my favorite comedy movies that had that James Bond type. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Oh my god. Before... Hmm. Before Mike Myers took other roles that were famous and infamous, other than The Love Guru, this was his classic. I mean, I do give it a two thumbs up. This movie was so hip and funny. Oh, I do love the music for this one that is related to the 60s. Oh, and I do love, love it, how Austin talks. I mean, <laughs> I always keep imitating him all the time. Like, <laughs> like, oh, um, what else did he do? Oh, like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. But I do admire the villain, also played by Mike Myers, Dr. Evil. Oh my God, he is so funny. Oh, I always did like it how he keeps send, sending his assassins to death by burning them up. <laughs> I mean, with those chairs, though. though. And I do love, love the new love interest. That's Vanessa Kensington, played by Elizabeth Hurley herself. Oh, my God. She is so styling, though. <laughs> I love... I even love it how she talks, how she acts, and all that jazz. She was amazing, though. And to think, this spawned two more sequels, which I also love. Okay, here's number nine, which is one of my favorite rom-coms slash horror slash fantasy movies ever that had one of my greatest actors in it who passed away a uh, way long ago, God rest his soul, Ghost. Ghost is the most moving, romantic, yet fun ride of a movie. I really do admire it. I do love, love Whippy Goldberg as, as Oda May, as the psychic who can hear, hear Patrick Swayze's character, Sam. Sam. I mean, these two make an excellent, excellent team in this one. I really do love it how Sam keeps pushing her off with that I am Henry, eighth I am. 
<laughs> that was that was funny though. And I really do admire how he got his justice on the killers who caused his death. Oh, and I really do admire how they how him and Otome went into that bank bank and foiled foiled his evil friends plans to get that four million dollars. <laughs> and I do love the ending though. So it was amazing. But I was kind of scared of the e of those dark spirits that captured oh Willie and Willie and who was that who was the other guy that that was involved the whole thing? Um Sam's Sam's ex friend. Oh, oh, Will. Oh, Carl. Carl, I lost that. Yeah, that that scene where when Carl and Willie became ghosts and and were sent to hell by those dark spirits, they that really gave me the chills. But all in all, ghosts is one of my favorites. Okay, here's number eight, which which started started both young actors actors by Renee Selwinger and Toby Maguire right before he did Spider Man. Pleasantville. Oh my god, this was an ingenious fantasy. And it was a great fun. It was like Alice in Wonderland meets I Love Lucy. I mean, how they, how two kids were transported in a sitcom, come and everything was black and white. Oh, it was, it was crazy though. And, and to think, Don Knox, the legendary actor who was in this movie, I really do love, love Don Knox. And like in all the movies he was in, like in, like in the Apple, the Apple Dumpling Gang. And, or Herbie goes goes to Monte Carlo. Uh, and I really do admire, admire the two kids. I really do admire oh I really do admire David, how he helps helps the characters just find their ways and how everything turned to color around around it was like magic. It was like fairies blessing the entire entire world of that place. Oh, it was amazing. Amazing. I really do admire the part where where David helped help the kids in the diner diner with those with those books and how he filled them up, how the story begins and ends. Oh, that was a great scene though. And I really do love the ending. <sighs> This was a great movie to watch. So here's number seven, which was based on a, on a TV show and always has that iconic theme song ever that you can't get enough of in your ears. The Addams Family. Oh, I do give it a two snaps up. Oh my God. I love every single minute of this. I mean, the characters, the Adams, Adams, even Cousin It, oh, they were awesome, though. Oh, I, oh, I do admire, admire every minute of it. I do love the train scene where Gomez was so pissed on, on Fester, on how he took it, how he take it off. Yeah, I do love that train scene. Oh, that was crazy as hell. Oh, I even do love it when Fester accidentally actually pulled the wrong switch, switch and was sucked in and out of that house. Oh, it was so much, so funny. Oh, God. And I really do admire, admire the children. Wednesday and Pugsley, they were amazing, though. I always did admire the play they put on. Oh, that was crazy how there was so much blood. Blood and splattered around in that stick, around in the audience. <laughs> oh, that, that was, that was crazy yet disturbing. <laughs> yeah. 
And it was, this moment was so creepy, ooky, and so much, and so much comedy in this one. I love it. Okay, here's number six that really brings out my white girl inside. <laughs> Clueless. I mean, not only this movie is like one of my best movies, but it's also one of my guilty pleasures. I, I absolutely love how it starts with the Muff song, Kids in America. Oh, I always did love that love that song no matter who sings it oh i do love how they dress dress back in the day in high school i mean and i do love it like it how they said say back in the day like as if or whatever and to think iggy azalea re redid redid this did this movie in her video fancy with Charlie XCX. Oh, I do love that one. <sighs> yeah. I really do love the actresses who are in it. Alicia Silverstone, Stacey Dash, and the late Brittany Murphy. God rest her soul. I really do miss Brittany. She was amazing, though. She was one of my favorite actresses in the 90s. 90s. I mean, she did put on some iconic roles, roles before she died, like as Lisa Swenson in Drop Dead Gorgeous, um, the 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 crazy girl in in oh, don't say a word, don't say a word when she always like I'll never tell. <laughs> oh, and who, who can forget get her character in Riding with Card. Cars with, uh, riding cars with boys, boys with, with Drew Barrymore in it. <laughs> I really did love that scene when she was all like, "My daughter's a tramp." <laughs> oh, but so far, Clueless was the best high school movie to to see, and I really do also like Paul Rudd, Rudd and Donald Faison. Oh, they were great. <laughs> It's no matter how long it takes, Paula, Paul Rudd does look the same. <laughs> I always did like him in Ant-Man. Okay, moving on. Here's number five, which is one of my favorite movies that is based on, my, on a children's book. Matilda. Oh my God, this movie was incredibly fun for all ages. Ages. I've... I really do admire Matilda. Matilda. Not only she's a bookworm like me, but she has an amazing powers, just like Eleven from Stranger Things. I really do admire her. Oh, and I really do love to hate Miss Trunchable. She was the worst. Oh, oh, she was so butch, butch, strict, yet. Evil. I mean, I really did did cringe at that scene where she made made Bruce Bulk Trotter eat that whole chocolate cake. I mean, it really did disgust me ever. Uh, oh my god! But I do love love the scene where Matilda and Miss Honey went inside. Simus Trunchable's old house and tried to escape from her without even of her knowing noticing in them. <sighs> yeah. I do love love it how Miss Trunchable got her just desserts in in the end. She really did had it coming. Okay. Here's number four, which is one of my favorite action movies to watch. Watch well, it's been my favorite favorite one ever to see. Speed. I mean, this movie was such a wild and crazy ride ever. I really do like it how they, how the bus flew, flew off, off of that gap of the hill. Oh my god, that was, that took guts. Guts to do. 
Oh my god. Oh. And I do love the train scene in the end. And where both Sandra and and Keanu uh, both stayed stayed inside until till the train derailed. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> oh, and I really do admire the vil villain Dennis Hopper who played played the bomber. Oh, he was he was vile yet intelligent. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> this was an amazing amazing movie to see. I really did love love both Keanu and Sandra Bullock back back in the day. They were so young. <laughs> okay, here's number number three, which is one of my favorite Disney movies ever to watch, other than Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. The Lion King. I must say, before there was the live action movie, movie with some mi mixed reviews, this movie, The Lion King, really took my breath away. Oh, it really gave me goosebumps, goosebumps throughout, throughout the whole movie movie with those songs like Circle of Life, I Just Can't Wait to Be King, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, and the reprised version of Circle of Life, Life in the End. Oh my god. Oh, I really do love the African music. Oh, it makes me, makes me proud to be an African American myself. <laughs> oh, and I really do love Love the duo between Tumo and Pumbaa, how they became friends with Simba. Oh, they were they were awesome. Awesome. They were funny. They they do remind me of remind me of Laura and Harley or Penn and Teller. Your choice. Oh and I really do love the bow bow between the lions and the hyenas. That was epic. Oh, it was, it was beautiful. <laughs> but who can forget the epic villain song, Be Prepared. Oh my God, Jeremy Irons did it so beautifully. Other than that, other than that actor from, from the remake, which he did. <laughs> I really hate, hate his version. Okay, here's number two, which has been my favorite sequels, sequels from a superhero franchise ever. Batman Returns. Oh my God. I mean, who doesn't love, love these two epic villains here? Catwoman and the Penguin. Oh my God. <laughs> Daniel DeVito and Michelle Pfeiffer pull their roles to a T. I absolutely love about them. Um, oh, these two were awesome, though, and I also also do do like still like Michael Keaton how he reprised his roles as as Batman. He was awesome, though. Oh, uh, and I really do admire admire Christopher Walken. He was amazing, though. Though, I really do admire the are the love connection between Batman and Superman and I mean Batman and Catwoman they were they were amazing though I absolutely love them oh, they were awesome okay oh yeah I'm, so far Batman for me, Batman Returns will always be one of my favorite movies to watch in the 90s, hands down. Okay, last one. Here's number one, which was directed by Steven Spielberg himself and, and became a cult classic and, and made so many sequels slash spinoffs. Jurassic Park. Oh my god. I mean, come on. Why not have a t 
top 10 best movie list for the 90s if you don't add this movie. I mean, I absolutely love it. How it has that epic song, song, song that lifts my spirits. spirits. Oh, oh, and the action scenes though, oh, they were amazing. Amazing, oh. I do love the chase scene where, where Ellie and Ian and and that other guy, guy were chased by, by that T Rex. Yeah, that was epic though, and frightening. In fact, it, it was cre, and so far ever since then it really paved the way to make a redo, for, make a rip off from other movies. <laughs> and I do admire the the kids in this one. Um, Tim and Lex. Oh, they they were absolutely smart, smart yet yet yeah, they were so full of bravery. Uh, well, I really that I really do admire the scene where they first met the T Rex. It really gave me chills. Oh my god. Uh, it was frightening. Oh, and I really do admire how Lex became, used her hacker abilities, abilities and re reboot the reboot the locks locks on all of them. That was smart of her. Oh, oh my god! And I do love love the love the. Of the beautiful scene where they met met a tyr a sick tyr triceratops. Oh, I lost the word there. That was e epic. Oh, it was so beautiful. I loved it. Love it. And I really do admire the actors: Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum. Oh my God! And to think. They're all going to come back, back in the new, new movie, Jurassic World Dominion next year. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Okay. Okay, guys. Those are my, these are my top, these are my top 10 movies of, of the 90s. Oh, they were, these were the best. Oh. Okay, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all... Oh, wait, never mind, I forgot. Yeah, be sure you all stay safe and stay at home. Bye.